Welcome to Toolback Tool. Welcome to today's Toolback. Oh, I can't fucking Toolback Toolbox. It's a fucking to just say hi guys. Today we're going to do a tool bag tour. <laughs> hi guys, welcome to today's toolbox tour. It took about three takes to get that right. I cannot say it right. Um, so right, this is going to be not basically because that just that word just came into my mouth and I got rid of it. So you're going to get what it's like in the real world of a tool bag toolbox. Oh, see, in the real world of a toolbox tour, no shiny bits. I've not added anything, taken anything out. What you see is what I carry around with me every day. Um, if you haven't done before, can you please hit the like button and subscribe just below. And I will put a description to anything I think it's interesting in the description below as well. So here we go. Let's start. Have a look at the bag. What bag have we got? We've got the DeWalt. Do you know what this one's called, Adam? I think it's the 19 inch, Nin isn't it? 19 inch open tote. So there's no um, cover or anything on it. What we'll do is we'll have a look around the outside first, starting over here. And what made, what made you get a tote anyway, Dee? Um, so I've gone through quite a few different bags in, in my time. I used to have the Stanley Fat Max uh, rucksack, but it's just really difficult getting any tools in and out. Um, and then from there I went on to this really and I haven't looked back. The only problem I will say is because it's so big you end up filling it up with junk that you don't use all the time. So what I want to do is get one of them little... Vito Pro Pack. Yeah, something like a little... Definitely, tote. definitely becoming a diva now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Vito, send me one, please. <laughs> no, that's right. So let's carry on. On the outside we've got electrical tape, standard, you know, speaks for itself. PPE, I don't use this one that much. This is what I'll use in the lofts or when I'm drilling corals. It's asbestos safe and you can just tap these filters out and they can, I don't know, you've got these little filters here and you just literally grab that, smack it on, on the side of a wall or something and it will empty it and then you can get replacement filters for it. Really good bit of kit and you can breathe nicely. Yeah, lovely. Um, safety gut goggles, a bit smashed up, probably need a new pair soon. Over this side, earth sleeving. Everyone needs a bit of earth sleeving. Staple in every toolbox. In the side pack we have a spare 6mm masonry bit for when these get blunt. Um, tester, of tests, it tests everything from um, fuses, batteries, light bulbs, all, all that. I've never used it to be honest with you, it just sits in there. Bits for filling holes, uh, any downlight holes or anything like that. Making them good, eh? Making them good, yeah. PTFE, which stands for Adam. Plumbing tape. Yeah, which stands for <laughs> plumbing tape. <laughs> What's it actually stand for? I don't know. Ask a plumber. plumber. I will plumber. write the exact word right here, and you will know why we just call it PTFE. Push down tool for data. Uh, as, as I say, I don't do a lot of data, but so I haven't really used that. I've been looking for this for ages. <laughs> it's me um, angle grinder masonry cutter. So yeah, I've been looking for that for ages. Now he's found it. Yeah. Allen key. This is like this is new to me as well. I ain't got a clue what I'm finding in here. Blunt um, multi-tool bits. I keep all the blunt bits for if you're, for example, if you're. Um, changing a one gang socket into a two gang socket that's already in place and you want to cause as, as little disruption, little damage as possible, what you do is you, I use my blunt bit on the multi-tool and just go through the plaster with that. It's going to get blunt anyway and it just makes it so much neater. If you're going to use a brand new bit, 
then it will just get blunt straight away. So use a rubbish one. Come around to the side, we have our tester. One of them um, stud testers, metal testers, blah, 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 all tester. And also it does distance. Uh, yeah, hardly use it. I used it the other day. If you watched our, if you haven't seen, have a look at my other videos and it, you will see we put this to good use when we put in that pop-up socket at that rewire we've done. Video, video attached. Yeah. What's that, Adam? Step drill. Step drill. Brilliant bit of kit. Lovely. You can go to any different length that you want, any different diameter you want. The hole saw. 20 mil hole saw bit. Of course, this, they always tell you in college, make sure it's empty at the end which you never do in real life if you've got to empty it. And you've got a 25 mil bit. Only one arbor, so I have to change them over. I will get around to getting another arbor. I just can never be bothered. I always forget. What do we have here? What is that? <laughs> I ain't got a clue what that is. It's a yeah. Card reader. Part of the Brilliant bit of kit. Have your card reader, you can always take payments, and then you don't have to worry about invoicing. You can literally send the customer a receipt to their email or to their telephone number. Sum up. Surely that's got to be your most important tool, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite important, yeah. You know, it really saves on a lot of paperwork. That does. Running round to this side. My God. This is just rubbish in this. Bits and pieces that I don't even know that was there. Yeah, drill bit, six mil drill bit. Rubbish, that can go in the bin. Keep that. That's it, in the side, we have a pen that I've probably never used. And some, oh, that's where they are. Um, just some crimps. Spare crimps I bought and just filed and forgot they were there. Let's file them back for another 10 years. <laughs> Until you do your next tool. Yeah. In the other bit, we've got more blunt hole tool bit. Um, oh, what are they called? More, more blunt multi-tool bits. I should probably throw a few of these away by now because I'm not going to use, use all these. A couple of brand new bits, spare in case you need it. Dusty out. Oh no, we haven't done this side yet. Down to this side. We have, what's that, Adam? That is your test meter and uh, I would say proving unit, but there's not a proving unit in there, is there? So you've got your test lamp, voltage yeah. meter, AVI, lock, lock, up, lock off kit. Most important part, part of kit, this. Um, Everyone needs one. What, what standard is this approved to, Adam? GS38. GS38. GS38 um, probe. Pen, multi pad lock, lock off set. Mm -hmm. so there's more than one it's person a, working. Yeah, that's just single pad lock, lock off set. And then you've got your MCB lock out there and sign with my phone number on. Most important bit kit. Yeah, various padlocks, and you've got a different type of lock out. Um, if, if that one don't fit, if this one don't fit on, I'll just use this one. This one usually fits on most of them anyway. And I set a few spare signs in there. If you need them. It's all the important stuff, isn't it? Obviously making sure you're safe, safe yeah. isolation and all that. Check out my safe isolation video. <coughs> in the side pouch we have, what is that? Is that your magic sponge? Oh, I think, yeah, this is my magic sponge. If you haven't seen these in action, they're a brilliant bit of kit. You use them, if you're cutting out down lights, you need to mark the walls all along where you need to cut. Just rub, wet this, rub it along, and it gets rid of any marks, any pencil marks, or if you rub up against a wall and you made a little mark, that's the job. I'll show you them in another day. Stubbies, everyone needs stubbies. To reach places, yeah. Spare Wilex MCB 6 amp 
another spare 16 amps <laughs> rubbish junk this is a raw tour isn't yeah it? these are my, these are what i used to use before i had the proper connectors i'm gonna get rid of them did you make them yeah i made them <laughs> yeah they're rubbish oh need some of them spare sta spare blades need some of them box here we have our fuses uh three amps five amps three amps five amps loads i've got you just have a look at I'm, I'm not going to get that out but if you have a look in there in here you'll see i've got loads of 13 amps as we all do like that you can go over there and now inside now what i'll do first i'll show you my main well, I've separated it. I've separated my main bits in this side and my spare other bits in this side that I don't use as much. Uh -huh. Just a, what's that, a six mil, eight mil drill bit just for getting through places. Do you use that one mainly for piloting? Yeah, I'll use that for piloting before I put through one of them. So if I need to run a cable for an outdoor socket or something, I'll use that for piloting and then drill this one back, back through. Um, screwdrivers, terminal screwdriver. It's different, mate, because I'm always losing them or breaking them. I lose everything, don't I, Adam? Yeah, always. Even even lost uh, left a uh, spirit level on a. <laughs> no, I didn't. I got my spirit level right here, mate. What are you on about? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> another another terminal screwdriver because I lost that one, but I, so I bought a new one and then I found it again. <laughs> Say so loads of wearers. That's in the wrong set. That should be in my other set. So you talk. No, that's your. That's not your talk. No. It's the um, taking apart set. Yeah. Yeah. Pipe cutter. Or Pipe cutter. Armor, armor slice. slice. Brilliant bit of kit for cutting steel wire armoured. Everyone needs one. Probably one. need to change the blade because that is blunt as hell. Spirit level, magnetic base, three different types of levels, that one, that one, and a 45 deg degree one. Not that we, we would ever use a 45 degree one, but it's there. Just in case. Knipex. Knipex. Knipex side cutters, just regular side cutters. They're all right, I don't use them that much anymore. Knipex six in one. Brilliant bit of kit. These are without the locking device and without the spring. Uh, all VDE, a thousand volts. Brilliant bit of kit. Tape measure. This is um, what we'd use for down lights. And if you notice, it's just got centimeters on that side. If you take a look. And you can do it, it's got centimeters on the other side. So when you're upside down, in either way up, you can still see how many centimetres it is. So it's called the vice versa. Vice versa. Vicky Verke. Let's say. Old cheap ho crimp set. Yeah, good good job. Crappy screwdriver. An old um, so, um, switch or something. That's rubbish. Crap. An old bit of got more crap. Another screwdriver, it's rubbish. Small hole saw, 38 mil hole saw. Knipex ergo strip, good bit of kit. This mm -hmm. I, I use it for for terminating your cat, your flex. You got your flex. It's already been cut. So what we, what we do is just go over the end like that, like that, and pull it, come straight off like that. Nice clean cut, brilliant for flex, coax. The only thing you need to be care, careful of is if you go through too deep, you can actually score the cable inside. Mm -hmm. You won't say that. And you can use, use the side down in there, it's got a bit you can just strip. You can go like that, and you go. Uh, you can kind of slice in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that splits open like that. Brilliant bit of kit. Mm -hmm. If you're doing flex, get yourself a set right, of them. Now into my main bag. 
got ear defenders. PPE. Brilliant. Yep, PPE. Loads of cable ties. The old scruffs hat. Yeah. Good one. bit of kit. So, something I've just bunged in here from a previous job and just forgot to take out. Tall clips, spring clips. Brilliant for if you're putting on radiators, uh, TVs, or anything like that. You haven't got a good fix in, you know, something like that. Brilliant for it. What's this called, Adam? Set square. No, it's not. Uh, engineer square. Nope. Square. Nope. <laughs> it's called a tri square. A tri square. Reason being is you've got one angle there, another angle there, and a like a 45 degree angle there. So it's a so tri square. Three different angles. Pad saw. Mistaba. That's when he's out, out on the streets yeah. at night on his own. Be careful. Yeah. Um, yeah, brilliant bit of kit. Sometimes you need to get in. If you need to put in a like a down light into a ceiling and then there's another, like if it's double boarded or something, you can't quite get through. Brilliant bit of kit to have in there. Do you use that in combination with the multi-tool? Um, no, not, not for down lights, I wouldn't use multi-tool, no. Me hammer, and this is not just any hammer, this is really? present for me daughter Charlotte. Best dad in the world. Yeah, love it. Use it every day. You can see how much you use it. Just get knocked about a bit. Yeah, good bit of kit. Mm -hmm. As you've seen in a previous video, the old stud buddy. This is for getting um, studs in, stud screws, finding stud screws in the walls and in ceilings. Just put it along. If you don't know, watch my rewire video and you'll see me use it. Spare bits for me impact impact driver. All rusted up because they got a bit wet, didn't they? Yeah. I need, think I need a new set. Spare set of uh, Climpex. Same, but these not VDE, so it's not um, volt voltage uh, proof. Spare tape measure. Always losing tape measures. Security bits for all sorts of things like cookers, all sorts. Mm -hmm. Bit of wood. <laughs> I mean, I chuck, I chuck all sorts of junk in here. It's, I've used these probably when I'm doing down lights and you need to batten out the back of the hole. Mm -hmm. Spare bits of cable. Just in there. Yeah. Mole grips used for all sorts of things, um, SWA, things like that. Multi, what it, oh, adjustable spanner, that's what it's called. Adjustable spanner, 8 to 20 mil or 200 mil. Yeah, again, use them for SWA. This is my old set of cutters. Good little bit of kit, really. Magnuson, I think that's B and Q own brand. You have got all your different sizes of your of your strip in there. Mm -hmm. You can use it for reaming, and can use it for crimping there as well and cutting, mm -hmm. and also um, grabbing little bits of cable. Was this like one of your first pairs yeah. when you were yeah. getting into the game? Or? Yeah, I use these throughout college and that. You know, done me done me good. Mm -hmm. not, not expensive either. This is my old knocker. Your knocker. This is used for all sorts of. There's always something where where you want to use your screwdriver, but I use this. It's obviously not a carpenter's tool. It's been knocked about just for smashing things up. Butchery. <laughs> yeah. Some drill bits there. I don't know why they're in there. I just after a job, you just stick them back in, don't you? Just um, not 17 mil span spanner. Don't know why it's 17, 17 mil. I've got the full set. I use the Halfords Advanced set, which if it's got that advanced sign on it, it's got a lifetime guarantee. Oh. I had one of these jam on me; it wouldn't spin. Oh, we'd all done. Took it back to Halfords. They exchanged it there and then. Brilliant. That's good lifetime guarantee. It's 
So you are. Um, freebie torch, one of them. How'd you get it for free? Oh, it's a trade show torch. You know, you always get, very rarely use it. It's just like an emergency torch, really. Or screwdrivers around the side. You just, open, you just open them up like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's all your spare screwdrivers. Nice. Netatmo Net Pro. Bradle. Uh, good for, I find this is quite good for cleaning out. Um, when you've got plasterers and they've filled all, all your box in a bit, you just stick this through your, um, where, where your screws go, clears out the plaster, job done. My old head torch. See, it's rubbish. One of these cheapy old ones. More screwdrivers. Old set of cutters that can't even open look. Blimey. They've been there so, that long. Old set of side cutters, what are they? Magnuson again, I think. Oh, McAllister. Seized up. Old set of pliers, again, don't use them. Just spares in case I do need them. Get a few more MCBs, Wilex ones. Um, these, what they're called, these are good for, if you're doing an LED strip, you can put, you can tape these, it's got double-sided tape on it, you put them on, on into, inside of a cabinet or something, or underneath a cabinet. Back of the TV, maybe? Yeah, back of the TV, and you can just cable tie um, some flex to it, or LED flex. Um, so this is adjustable screw bit, you stick one end into your impact driver, the other one you put in your whatever bit you want and you can get, get into all your little nooks and crannies if you need to. Idea. Yeah. This is, I nicked this out of my wife's makeup bag or something, I don't know. But it's perfect for when you've got these light, these light fittings and you have to be really fiddly, try and get wires in and that. Um, also to do your makeup. That's it, yeah. That's what it really Punch down tools. These are for if you're knocking down, when you lift up floorboards, you want to knock the nail down a bit more. Mm -hmm. You literally put that on top of the nail, bang it with an hammer, it goes back in place. Rubbish. Socket tester. We all know what they're there for. Q-Tech brand. I use the Q-Tech brand because if it's in the right um, wiring, if it's wired right, it'll give you free green lights and also I've got a problem with um, tinnitus and I can't he hear certain sounds. If you've got the socket and C one, I can't hear them because it's a different, it's a frequency that I can't hear for some reason. So I have to go with the Q-Tech ones. Whenever I'm getting a new socket tester, I always make sure I can hear it before I buy it because I'll get, have that problem. Reef, re-threading tool. 3.5 mil, Niglon, brilliant. If you've got them, if you've got screws and they're not going into the hole very well, or you hear it squeaking, you just stick this in a bit, re-thread it out, and job done. Adjustable, what do you call them? Grips. Adjustable grips, that's what you want. Adjustable grips for SWA as well. More rubbish. Yeah, rubbish. More MCVs. Um, metal. Metal chisel thing, can't remember what you call them. And another rubbish screwdriver. Uh, that's sitting there, just a few different drills, all drill. Uh, wood, wood drills, HSS, and masonry. Mm -hmm. And that's it, guys. Tell us what you think. Don't forget, guys, please like, share, comment, prescribe. I'll see you on the next one.